YouTube. Well, many of you probably remember the pretty much awful video I made on this 2013 Honda Accord about eight or nine months or so ago. Um, well, today I'm picking it up from the uh, owner or friend and actually gonna bring it home, clean it up, wash it, all that, all that mess. So I've got the key right here. This is a 2013 Honda Accord EXL four cylinder without navigation. So of course it's got the push button start. Currently has 8,931 miles on it, so uh, not too bad on mileage in almost a year. Uh, so this part, this portion of the uh, drive will be more like a test drive, and then I will try to make a tour later. Um, I know the last last tour I made was kind of a bad tour, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, when I back out, you'll notice that both mom's car and my car are here. That's because my mom works at the same place where this owner works, so. All three cars are here pretty much, so we'll go ahead and put it in reverse. Of course, you have a standard backup camera on the 13 Accord. Now, it's been, as I said, eight or nine months since I've driven this car, so this will pretty much be a first drive impression because I don't really remember it. Um, starting off the bat, I can say visibility is just honestly excellent. I, um, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting used to the CVT, and it's actually, you can't even notice that. All I did was notice that there was no shift, and actually, it's kind of nice. Um, steering is very light and easy. Um, it's just so easy to... I hope you guys don't turn over. It's so easy to just drive anywhere, and it's, it's very responsive. You can feel what's going on on the road, but it's just not, like, mechanical. You can tell it's electric. There's nothing wrong with that, though. Uh, these seats are extremely comfortable, I can tell you that much. Uh, pardon for the sun glare, it is 8.35 in the morning, so giving it some gas. It's a good amount of instant power. I am going through a residential district, so can't floor it. But we shall try to do that here soon. Pardon me going over railroad tracks, I've been on you guys around. Oh, the, this suspension is very smooth. All right. Wow, this car's got a lot of instant pickup. Uh, as you can see, it's an EXL because it's got the touch screen presets. And it does have the camera that watches your um, other mirror, I guess you'd say. That's standard on EX and above. The owner actually deactivated that feature, so it only works if she um, puts the uh, button on or presses the button, I guess I should say. Fifty. This car's got a good, good bit of um, pep to it. It's not a sports sedan at all, but it does it does move. Um, visibility is excellent. I think I already said that the driving position is just spot on. Uh, the tilt telescopic steering wheel, comfortable seats, ten way power adjustable. Um, it's just it's a great place to be and a great place to spend time. And I, and I know the owner has been very happy with hers. Uh, she did trade or not trade in, um, but her last car was an 08, I believe Camry LE that got totaled. So, I don't know if she's been happy with this. So, Let's see, we got the iMid screen. Let's see what the fuel economy estimates have been. Averaging 30.30 30 miles a gallon on this tank. So, I think, I think she's been averaging 29 ish, 30 ish, that range, which is not bad at all. That's just the big clock. Radio data. Brakes are good. I mean, they're not gonna inspire you to do it 120 to zero, but they're sufficient for a family sedan. Oh lord. I don't know why this always happens to me. Let 
Why does my camera always fall? Can you guys please tell me that much, please? Alright, I think we're good. So I really don't know what else I'm supposed to say in these test drive videos. Other than the car drives fine. It is just a family sedan. One thing that does... I think see power is just fine. Um, but one thing that kind of annoys me is on the left hand, or on the driver's side mirror, it's got a little blind spot section, and it's kind of annoying. Oh, there goes lane departure warning, say I'm leaving my lane. <laughs> Thank you, lane departure warning. Uh, this car also is equipped with Ford Collision Alert, which is a very nice feature to have. I, I'm not, I'm not drifting. Thank you, though. Okay, maybe it's a little annoying. Just a little bit there. The ride's very smooth and composed. Um, when the tire noise isn't that bad. Especially for a Honda, because you guys all know that Hondas have been pretty notorious for some awful wind and road noise. Um, just, it's a very, it's a very, it's a car that just, it does everything, and it does everything well. And it's comfortable, and it's, it, it's going to fade to the background while you drive it, and that's what owners want. I mean, honestly, you're not going to buy an Accord to go through the Nürburgring, or something like that. It's just a comfortable, well-rounded, everything, I mean, this could be electric vehicle. If you, if you put an Acura badge right here, it would, it would probably, it would, it'd have more tech than, and features than a TSX at a cheaper price. So, I don't know. Very good overall car. I guess I should have put it in sport mode for you guys at least once. Oh well. This car does have sport mode, but does not have paddle shifters, so. Kind of, that's on the um, sport model, which I guess is fitting. This is an EXL, so it should really have. I don't know, the brakes are kind of lumpy sometimes. They're not very, they're kind of mushy. At least this one. Maybe, maybe she, I doubt, she, I mean, it's only 9,000 miles on the car. She doesn't need new brakes. They're, they're a little. They're a little non-linear. At first they're fine, then a little bit further into the pedal it's a little non-linear. Um, wow, this thing steers very well. Uh, the turn signals on all feel very high quality, as do all the buttons. Uh, the steering wheel has a little bit more wear on the leather than I would like for only 9,000 miles. Seeing as our Tahoe has about a little, more than the mileage on this and, and less time and it's holding it better. Um, same thing for the shift lever, the leather's wearing kind of badly. The seats are wearing just fine. Um, the seats are very comfortable too. I think I've said that like five times now, but you know. Um, Wow, the CVT is keeping my my breaths just over a grand. This is, this is impressive. I, I'm I'm impressed. Again, um, if you're in the midsize family sedan segment, this would be a this would be towards the top of my list in in, in terms of choices. Um, the only fusion I'd get would be fusion titanium because those are sexy, but um. I don't know if I like the 1.6 liter. But anyways, I like the Fusion a lot. I love the Accord. I like the Fusion a lot. Um, haven't driven an Altima, so I can't speak from there. Though I do like the way they look. Um, Camry, well, if you gotta get a Camry, then fine. There's better choices. Um, who even considers a Malibu anymore? Uh, I like the Optima, actually. I don't like the Sonata. Um, but the Accord would be one of my top choices. And I think America has, has agreed so far, so 
Thank you guys for watching this. Maybe there'll be another portion of the test drive. Maybe there won't be. Um... <laughs>